Hello everybody, it's Brenda here with Be Balanced Art. Today we're going to try our hand at a colander pour, which I have never had much success with a colander pour, but I've never had the turntable, so I'm hoping that the uh, cake turntable will help me out with it. I had to mix my colors out of frame because getting the whole thing in was difficult as it was because I had to set up my puppy bath, my turntable, and have enough room for my colander and my canvas. So let's begin. I made up approximately, this is an 11 by 14 canvas by the way, and I made up approximately 16 to 17 ounces of paint. Hopefully that'll cover it all. Let's find out. I tried a paint calculation. Hopefully it's right. Beautiful sunny day here. Hopefully you're having beautiful weather wherever you are. Temperatures have dropped a little bit, but it's still staying into high 50s and not freezing at night right now. So that sounds like spring to me. Still stuck inside. That's all right, there's nowhere to go anyway. Hopefully you've got this beautiful weather and you're enjoying it like I am. I'd open up the house, but my allergies are so terrible. I haven't been able to open the house, I'm afraid to, to be honest with you. My eyes have been swelling in the morning because of... Uh, sleeping overnight on one side because of my sinuses and my allergies. That's a little too much information. Sorry about that. Now, gotta let this come out of my colander. My colors, I'll tell you my colors while it comes out of the colander. I've got Rust-Oleum, Metallic Accents, Pearl White. I have Rust-Oleum, Metallic Accents, Amethyst. I have Artist Loft Gold. I have Sax Violet. I have Folk Art Metallic Sapphire Blue. And I have Deco Art Peacock Pearl. is settled to the bottom of the cup so I'm going to see if I can get some more out. It's coming slow. I can always add more white. I'd rather not but if I have to I will. The problem with this kind of paint formulation is you figure out the math but it doesn't account for how much is left in your cup. By the way, the cup's beautiful. And it also does not account for how much paint is still in your colander. So I need to get as much out as possible. Should have done a better job lifting it, but I did not. I always get overexcited. Come on out of there, paint. I don't want half the video to be me trying to get paint out of the colander. <laughs> so, let's just get what we can. Put it over here. Once again, I fear that my canvas is tilted the wrong way. But I did check it for level. It was, but I think what it is is this 
bottom of the puppy pool is throwing me off. to tilt it but I can see I still have a lot of paint on here I'm going to try and lift one side of it and see if I can get the paint moving the other direction by moving the turntable and not the painting Meantime, I'll wipe my hands and get the torch. You know, I always try to hurry through these so you don't have to be uh, waiting for the finished product. But no matter how much I try to hurry, you can only do it so fast and it always has something happen. At least the phone hasn't rang today yet. Hopefully it won't. Try and lift the whole thing and see if I can get the paint to move and then try to spin it. Looks like some of my center's already gone off this direction, so let's try to tip it this direction. Hopefully once I get the paint moved down I can spin it some more and see what happens. I am getting cells, but already this colander pour has not come out like I'd hoped. But I have not had the best luck with them. <clears throat> Molly from Molly's Artistry is so good at colander pours, and I struggle with them all the time. But I guess everybody can't be good at everything. All right, let's try and spin this a little bit more. to keep it from hitting this edge. And I do believe the paint calculations were off because so much was left in the colander and so much was left in the cup. But I followed a paint calculator from a trusted artist. So I really do believe it was the cup and the colander that held too much paint. be spinning anymore. I'm going to have to lift it soon, I can tell. I'm going to go this way just a little bit. See if I can get any more movement before I pull it off because it is taped down. like I'm going to have to prize it up now. Get some of this paint off the sides here first. I'm 
Not much on the sides because this canvas is so big it covers almost the whole pizza pan. I keep doing that. I keep doing big canvases, but I really want some bigger paintings because I have places for them and I want certain sizes. And I have um, large rooms. Not that I have a lot of rooms, but my rooms are large and they have a lot of wall space and a little bitty painting just won't work in a lot of the places. This would definitely have been a lot easier to do with an 8x10, even a 9x12, but this is what I needed. Ah, come here. Stop. <laughs> I might not have to tilt it. I'm finding more paint on the edges than I thought, but I still don't know that it's enough. I wish you could tell me if you're seeing paint on the edges, but you can't. I have to spin it around to find where the paint is. And then I have to spin it around to find where to put it. But it's looking like I do have enough paint to get this covered. And I do think it's pretty. I love the colors. Um, the composition leaves a lot to be desired, though. There's a lot of metallics in this. I believe I have one, two, three. I have five metallics. So it's actually really pretty from here. I don't know how it looks on the camera because I'm on the wrong side of it to see. But usually for some reason it always looks better in real life than on the video. But I did manage to get my sides. So let me wipe my hands off. I'm going to go rinse my gloves because I need to get my camera down so I can bring it over and show you and I don't want to get paint on my camera. I'm still trying not to waste gloves because I know there's going to be, well, there already is a glove shortage. These cannot be used for medical purposes because they've been out in the public. You know, I've had them. I've had them since before the virus, so they're safe. But hospitals and organizations can't trust it. My word for it that they're safe. <clears throat> After I'm done filming, I might tilt this a little bit more just to work on the comp composition. But I think it's actually pretty. It's just not exactly what I was hoping for. So let's do our close up.
it's even hard to do a close-up with this big pool here. <laughs> but as you can see, I have several cells. I have some beautiful areas with the gold and the blue together. That pearl white. The blue veining is very pretty. Purple veining. So I like the colors. I like the painting. Just not crazy about the composition. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you like the painting too. So please join me next time. This is Brenda with Be Balanced Art. Please like, share, subscribe, and make a comment. Let me know what you thought of this painting. All right. Thank you very much again. Have a good day. Bye-bye.